Hey everyone, Luis with Phone Arena here. One of the most overlooked but important factors when choosing a smartphone is its speaker loudness and quality. You know, one doesn't always have the opportunity to test the amplification before plunking down the cache for a new smartphone. Or maybe at this point, we are totally conditioned to the dynamic sound coming from the tiny mono speakers inside most handsets and we don't really expect much from them in general. Anyway, here are the 10 loudest smartphones from 2014 as measured in the speaker loudness test we do here at Phone Arena. If being able to hear your ringtone over ambient noise or blast your favorite tunes at maximum loudness are great concerns of yours, definitely consider one of these here loudmouths. The Galaxy Note Touch is 2014's loudest smartphone. It goes up to 87 decibels of sound pressure. The single loudspeaker on its back is fairly loud and clear and you can even hear some depth to the tunes, which is very nice. Still, for all the loudness it has, its speaker is no match for the industry-leading clarity and depth of the HTC One M8. Then we have the Galaxy Note 4, which goes up to 85 decibels. The single speaker on its back has decent volume, but again, it doesn't have much depth to it and ends up sounding rather thin and distorted. It's not that bad in terms of sound quality, but it's far from the best we've heard last year. Sporting two front-firing speakers, BlackBerry's business-first smartphone is a party animal as well, as it possesses 82.7 decibels of audio power. The Passport is pretty deafening at the loudest volume setting, but there is a shrill tone to the sound which ends up giving it an unpleasant quality. Next comes the Samsung Galaxy S5. That's the third Samsung phone we have here, which goes to say Samsung likes it loud. The S5 goes up to 81 decibels of sound pressure. The sound coming through its speaker is very powerful and actually pretty deep for a phone speaker. Besides, hearing your colors even in busier environments shouldn't be too much of a problem. And here we have the LG G3. The loudspeaker on this guy is quite powerful, reaching the Galaxy S5's 81 decibels and packing plenty of punch. It doesn't give out the cleanest sound, but as a whole, it establishes a good ratio of loudness and pleasantness and ends up a good all-around performer. Next comes the tiny HTC Desire 501, which genuinely surprised us with its output, a nice and loud 80 dB. In terms of sound quality, the built-in speaker is okay, at least for a cell speaker, but even though it goes up to 80 decibels, you might have some trouble hearing it in noisy environment. Next up is the Oppo Find 7, who also drives the needle to 80 dB. Obviously, watching clips on YouTube or even the occasional TV show is not an exercise in futility thanks to that large and crisp display and powerful speaker on the rear. Although lacking in fullness, the Find 7's loudspeaker is strong and clean. And here we have the Meizu MX4, reaching the same 80 decibels of loudness. The MX4's mono loudspeaker on its bottom side is very powerful and easily fills a medium-sized room with sound. Audio fidelity is also great for a smartphone, but extras like equalizer and other sound shaping goodies are only available when you have your earphones on. Look who we have here! It's the Nokia Lumia icon which goes up to 75 decibels. Whether it's the internal speaker or the 3.5mm headset jack, there is no shortage of great sound. Even at the loudest setting, there is no evidence of strain or crackling, which is a wonderful surprise. And finally, we got the HTC One M8. At 75.2 decibels, it's a bit quieter than the Galaxy Note 4, but the HTC sound quality remains unmatched. The HTC signature dual front firing speakers with HTC boom sound and built in amplifiers are back for another ride. The One M8 maintains a pleasant audio level accompanied by some subtle bass, which makes it sound fuller compared to the speakers on most tribal phones. This is Luis from Phone Arena, and it was a pleasure presenting to you.